Testimony began today in the federal wrongful death lawsuit trial of former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger. Geiger believes she was entering her own apartment and mistook Botham Jean as an intruder. She shot and killed him, and she is serving a prison sentence for his murder. So Botham Jean's family is suing Geiger. She's representing herself, but was not in the courtroom. No one, in fact, is at the defense table on her behalf. Fox Force John Rabb was in federal court for testimony this morning. Body camera video from officers in Botham John's apartment gripped the courtroom, including jurors, with ebbing emotion as they watched other police officers try and save his life. And it's hard for us as attorneys to, to watch these videos, to see a young man who had the entire world before him um, taking his last breath. So we can imagine how, how hard it is for the, for the jury. We've had the opportunity to see these videos a couple of times, but for the jurors, this is their very first time. Those jurors saw Botham John in death and in life. Videos and pictures played in court as Washington and a group of attorneys from the Ben Crump National Civil Rights Law Firm introduced the 26-year-old to the 12 jurors and two alternates. September 6, 2018, just off-duty Dallas police officer Amber Geiger went to Botham John's fourth-floor apartment at Southside Flats, where she also lived, thinking it was her third-floor apartment. She mistook John for an intruder, shot and killed him, and now serves a 10-year prison sentence for murder. The main issue is when Amber Geiger pulled that trigger, was that use of deadly force justifiable? That's the main issue. Law enforcement expert William Bill Harmony, testifying by Zoom from Tennessee, answered that question in this, the civil case. No, it wasn't justified, he said, adding her actions did not follow national policing procedures or DPD policy in the use of deadly force. Alyssa Charles Finley, John's sister, told the court Dallas police did not tell her that her brother had died, only that he had been shot and it was, quote, a sensitive situation. It was hospital staff that broke the news her younger brother was dead. She told the family. Finley, fighting tears, testified she spoke to her brother hours before his death. He said a friend invited him to a sports bar to watch the first game of the NFL season. And I said, why not stay home? because it's safer at home. Tiffany Young observed the first day of testimony. The Botham John family attorneys have done an excellent job of really painting the picture of who he was, of his promise and potential, not only in the city of Dallas, but across this nation. If a jury comes back uh, favorable, I think it sends a message. It sends a message to other police officers that you need to think a second before you pull a trigger, and that's what these cases are all about. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News.